Sup guys, Hokey Bird here, bringing you the Noob's Guide to Legendary for Halo 3 ODST. In this video, we're going to be traveling from Kazingo Boulevard to Oni Alpha Site. So this section of New Mombasa starts off with a phantom dropship that basically lands down in that plaza and drops off two jackal snipers and two brute jumpers. Now, I found the most effective strategy is to not engage them right away. Wait and watch and see where the jackal snipers go. One's going to go in the center there, and the other's going to move up the left side here. So, wait to shoot the sniper until he's about there, and hide behind this box so the other sniper can't get you. Then, instead of engaging the brute jumpers from that balcony where you're likely to be picked off by that jackal sniper, head back inside. You can even find a brute plasma rifle sitting on the ground here, but I'm just going to use my ODST SMG. And then take them out from the side of the building over by where the superintendent stash is. You can even go inside the stash to fill up your ammo. Inside of this one, there's rocket launchers, which I would not recommend, simply because you don't need them. Just stick with an ODST SMG and an ODST pistol. A lot of times, the brutes will follow you over here, so just combo them. Now, you may be asking yourself, Hokey, that was only one of the two brute jumpers. What happened to the other one? Good question. I don't know. I had to go back into the theater, and there he is. He jumped up to the balcony where I started and just stayed there, and I didn't find him the entire time. I didn't intentionally evade him, but he just got away from me. So had I known it, I could have looked up at that balcony and taken him out, but hindsight's perfect vision. Anyway, move along the left side of the street here over to where you shot the first jackal sniper, grab his beam rifle, and use that to shoot the second jackal sniper. There he is. The only thing left is one brute, or if you've taken them both out, the area should be clear. Alright, now that the area is clear, let's figure out where we're going. This is actually one of the shortest New Mombasa Streets missions in the game. We're just going to follow the path we took in Kazingo Boulevard. We're going to go up here and through here, which is the holdout area at the end of Kazingo Boulevard, through this tunnel here, and over to Oni Alpha Site. So just follow the path that you took in Kazingo here when you had your tank. Now this is one of these random encounters. Um, in this case, there's nothing up here, but it is entirely possible to find a Jackal Sniper and two Brute Stalkers over here. So I'm going to switch to a clip where I did find them there. I'm just all the way back here at the beginning, taking out that second Jackal Sniper. And if you look over there, there's some Brute Stalkers and another Jackal Sniper. No big deal as long as you have a beam rifle. Anyway, back to the main walkthrough. We're just going to head up here and through this open door. Your weapons should be beam rifle and pistol. This is another random encounter, but it's only kind of random because there's two places that the jackal sniper can be. This is best case scenario, if you look up top here, you can find him there. And so of course, just shoot him with your beam rifle. Now there's two different places he can be. He can either be right on top of you here, where I'm indicating on my map, or over here where I shot him. This is best case scenario, but I'm going to show both cases. Anyway, once you shoot the jackal sniper, everybody's going to know that you're there. 
Most of the brutes are going to move up to the top of the hill and follow the engineer up there, but the two brute stalkers will come after you, so just take them out with your beam rifle and your pistol. Once that's done, I would recommend eliminating the engineer, which I like to do by just shooting the brute. Once he's dead, the engineer will commit suicide. Again, you'll know which brute to shoot because he's the only one that's a captain with horns on his helmet. This should all require no explanation. As long as you have a beam rifle, just take them all out from range. If and when you exhaust your beam rifle, your next best option is a plasma rifle. That's pretty good at stripping armor as well. And then once everything's taken out, I like to stop at the superintendent stash here and load up on SMG and pistol ammo. Alright, so that's one way to clear that area, but keep in mind I said that was best case scenario. This, however, is worst case scenario, which is the only other possible scenario. And you look up here where I shot the jackal sniper in the first case, and he's not there. That's because he's right on top of me. So what you want to do is not try to engage him and just stay under him. He's right up there, but I can't see him. So, what I'm going to do in order to not get tagged is I'm just going to fight from this stairwell here, and I'm just going to use this opportunity to take out the brute that keeps the engineer alive before anybody notices me. Once again, however, once the two stalkers know that you're there, they will come after you. And I'm just going to speed this up because you've already seen me do this. The only thing I'm doing this time is I'm staying under where that jackal sniper is. I'm not going to move out towards the center of the area where he can get me. Not until everything's dead, at least. And then once everything's taken out... I'll move out slowly here, keep looking up there where he is, get stuck on a barrier, no that part's not necessary. Anyway, one shot to draw him out and then shoot him in the head, hopefully you don't get tagged like I was. But again, Jackal and Snipers have gotten a huge nerf and they don't kill you in one shot. If you do get shot, you can even find health packs over in the corner. Anyway, back to the main walkthrough, head through this door, you're going to have about six grunts in here led by one brute. 
His weapon will be random, but there's only two possibilities. It'll either be a carbine or a brute shot, and I find that the carbine is actually more dangerous because it has more range than that brute shot and you can't dodge it. Either way, take them out as you see fit. I shouldn't really have to explain this at this point. There we go, no big deal. Just head through the tunnel and walk up to the detonator to start the next mission.